बैग्स में हमारे 60 इंच मेन्यू जरूर देखें आपके पसंद के साइज के साथ आपके पसंद के बेवरेज भी सीटों के ऊपर वाली ओवरहेड बिंस और छोटे बैग्स को सामने वाली कुर्सी के नीचे रख दें Hi, welcome to another video. Today I have a very specific task which I have to work on. So, as you know, I'm currently still working on the Mac app to record our screens. And one of the main challenge which I found while building this app as a new feature which we want is to hide the cursor. I think I mentioned about it in my last video. So, to hide this cursor, I found another like an external library called Aperture. which i was using uh, but i found out aperture is using a very old av foundation module to record the screens now there are some limitations with this module number one is like the the hiding of the mouse is done with some hacky effects like av foundation out of the box does not provide that and when user moves their mouse very rapidly it's still being recorded so it's not hidden that's not what we want obviously and the second thing which is the major problem with this library is as we show a webcam view on the recording which is also being recorded but we do not want that webcam view to be recorded on the screen recording because there are two layers one is the screen recording another is the webcam view those two we stitch on our server together in the remotion view but we do not want them to be on the single feed because well we want user to move their webcam after post processing like once the video is recorded they can move their webcam they can remove that webcam but if we record it while recording the screen then it just not possible so uh, we need to exclude webcam preview which we show to the user that how the view is looking which is very common uh, that is not possible with aperture sdk so i was doing a lot of research this last week like what is the possible solution uh, the electron based app which we are building do provide desktop capturer as a module but it has so many limitations that i moved to aperture now i'm finding all these limitations with aperture so finally i found out like mac os has a screen capture kit which is the latest sdk which they provide and only works on mac os version 12.3 and above so it's fine for us like right now we are at mac os 14 so it will work from for last two versions like 12 13 14 it will work and it's it's fine for us like we have discussed with the team okay too much talk now let me tell you what i am going to do today today my major task is i'm making uh, like a native module i'm writing it in swift uh, the task is to record our screen store it with this native module uh, I will not touch my electron code then write a bridge between this native code and js so I can trigger the native uh, functions which I'll write with the screen capture script with my electron app that's the task which I'm going to do and in this process I'm thinking because there is no such thing available online I'll make it an open source so today we are going to make an open source project which will be used by anyone who is working on electron to record their screen which do provide all the functionality which I'm building in my app so yeah let's start our day today from here So before building our like the open source project right there are a couple of things which we want to do first of all what should i name this open source project i'm pretty excited like uh, i think i have not built any open source sdk before and this is the right opportunity because this is a problem which i just found out uh, which is uh, not available easily like i was struggling so much with this i was uh, going through the issue tab on github and i saw so many people are like kind of looking for something similar so i thought oh why not just build it myself right and i'll just post about it on those channels maybe they will get uh they'll start using it so it will be good marketing of my open source project on those issue tabs which i've already know about and uh, yeah I, i i love contributing to this open source because i do use a lot of the open source libraries and 
I'll contribute it in the way. So the first task for this is to write that Swift file. I'll talk to Claude a lot uh, because I'm not really good at Swift and uh, we'll see if we can just record our screen. Okay, so after doing a lot of research uh, in this session, uh, like what I want to make my library look like because I want to put up very simple structure uh, so it can be used by anyone simply installing using npm or yarn uh, it should be a node based like a library which interacts with native views and how would this native suite file will be working uh, so yeah, i have a basic mental model of what are the things i want to do in sequence and that is what we are going to do for the next two hours so yeah uh, now my main task is I know I have to just jump into making a native uh, code, uh, which will be the number one thing to make this library work. But I'm pretty confident that would work. So I want to spend like 10, 15 minutes to motivate myself. And what I'm going to do is I'm making this like a Git repo, a public repo, putting some like readme files, what this will do. So I, we get into this zone of uh, how our library will look like, right? That will help me then code better. Uh, like I'll be spending more time on the the kind of SDK I want it to be, uh, the way it should work. And to be honest, I, I'm just copying what Aperture has done, uh, the way they interact with the native code. Uh, this, I'll be using exact similar structure because people are already familiar with it. I see they have like 1.2 thousand stars. Uh, so yeah, uh, it doesn't make more sense to like reinvent the wheel. Cool, uh, now let's just sit and start our creating our GitHub repo. Okay, so after sitting for like 35, 40 minutes, what I have done is I have created a, a repo which is called Electron Capture Kit. I talked to uh, like Claude a lot to like get some names, some ideas, and I really like the capture kit because technically I am writing a wrapper for a screen capture kit, which is a macOS native uh, SDK. So capture kit makes more sense. And I have put electron because it will be easier for someone who is searching for something like that. So if someone searches for ele electron screen capture kit, the electron capture kit would, would probably be coming in their search results. And uh, I have gone ahead and created a simple, very simple icon and also written a very basic uh, readme MD. Uh, which explains how this SDK can be used. Also, I have written the Swift file, which took uh, some time to like uh, back and forth communication with AI and it's recording a uh, file for five seconds, but there are some issues which I'm going to fix now. So the main goal is to write that Swift file, compile it and put it in this project, which I have just created and then start writing a native bridge, which can talk from the JS code to the native Swift file. That's what I'm going to do. Let me just show you how the icon looks like. Okay, so I hope you can see this. So this is the capture kit. And uh, let me just scroll it down. If you see, so this is how you will be using it. This is how you will be using it in your code. Uh, you can just import the capture kit pass on the crop area which you want to crop and then start recording very simple example i have also explained what are the other things in this so this gives me a very good mental model most of the things have been inspired by the aperture node sdk so i'll be writing similar code uh, in our native module as well uh, another thing is today i am going to watch a movie uh, it's kalki which is released today uh, i have to go at around 2 30 uh, from the house. It's already 1.30 here. I'll go get my lunch and then we'll head out for the movie. Then I'll come back in the evening and try to finish it up. A lot of good thing has been already done. Like the Swift native code is written. It's recording. So very basic MVP is working. Uh, the, the code for the open source project is up. And I have also created what kind of uh, like API I want to provide with this wrapper, right? And the final task will be done tomorrow and that would be to integrate this SDK into our app and uh, that would be that would be so cool like I'm super excited with this project uh, this is a like a mini project which I extracted from our main project so yeah now uh, let me get go get my lunch and then we'll be heading out for the movie
Okay, so I'm back again in my home and I just uh, came back after watching the movie. Uh, we watched Kalki. I don't want to give any reviews or spoilers, but yeah, I really like that. Uh, the way the graphics and all the stuff in the movie. So yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. And after coming back, I was just trying to wrap it up. Uh, so a lot of success today, as I already mentioned. Uh, the Swift native file is working. Recordings are happening. I also tested it with the one hour recording. And that the only problem with the one hour recording is it's recording it in an MOV format, which is only like Apple specific. And the file size for that is around 1.8 GB, which is quite a lot. So for 50, 55 minutes of recording, it should not be that much. Uh, so what I'm thinking, maybe I would write a post processor. So once the recording is done, it would be compressed into much better format, something like an MP4, which is easier to upload. Uh, and I think for one hour, which is the max limit for our app, it would be around 500 MB file. It's still quite a huge file, uh, but there would be very, very specific cases where someone would want to record that long. And yeah, that, this was all like all the things happen in my day and I'll be wrapping it up today. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I am like back again in Goa and I'll be making much more videos explaining what I'm doing on my development journey. So yeah, I'll call it a day now. Thank you so much and I'll see you again in the next one.